Hey y'all, it is incredibly bleak and rainy today and I love it. It is finally starting to feel like fall. I felt it was incredibly appropriate to wear comfy sweaters and drink chai tea lattes today, but it is also time to update for my project progress. This is the second update, so second full month, just finished the second full month, and this is when I have really seen the payoff of all my hard work hard work over the last two months. I have really finished up quite a lot and I'm pretty excited to share this with you and I am going to add in a couple more things. I am yet still undecided if I'm going to run this through, through till the end of the year or if I'm going to find a stopping point for it. I don't know. I'm enjoying it so far. I took a break from panning all through summer and um, eh, I'm really enjoying it. It feels good to be back. I have finished up so much. It's crazy. That is what being on a no-buy and project panning at the same time can do for you. When you just sit down and focus for even like one month or a couple of weeks, you would be amazed at what you can do. So to recap, last month I had only finished two things so far and they were the easiest two items on this list. It was my 100% pure lavender tonic which I just used as a face mist, priming mist, light setting spray. Face mists go really quickly for me. And then another item that goes really quickly is perfume. I had finished up my Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria body mist which I had had forever and um, I threw that one away. I wasn't thinking after I did my empties. I put my makeup empties in a year-long bag, but I don't hang on to perfume, skincare, body care, all that stuff. And so I threw it away last month. And I did technically finish up one mascara. I do have a category on here that's assorted mascaras because I had like five open mascaras at the time, and I've finished up two so far. Last month, I finished up the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint, and then this month, I finished the It Cosmetics Superhero Sample. I also finished up the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder too. Now this is a Laura Mercier container. It did not contain a Laura Mercier. Well, it did at one point in time, but I had put about three containers, the little containers of the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder in this because I preferred this packaging. And I did finally clear it out about a week ago. I did end up using it for baking initially. I, I don't think it's great for baking. I don't, but I was getting kind of sick of it. I've actually found powders that I prefer, and so I wanted to go ahead and use it up and I was finally able to do so. Now this next one was a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. I mean I guess it went pretty quick but I was definitely sick of it by the end. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose, the one in the bottle instead of the little tub. And I pulled the stopper out of it and everything which I normally don't do for lip products but I only did it because this is not a gloss. It's actually like a balm. On glosses it's just sticky and goopy and it's not worth it for me. Um, but I dug out all every little bit of product I could. I'm so sick of the rose scent. I don't really want to touch anything with a rose scent, but I am. I'm using up a face mist. And yeah, I'm just absolutely sick of it. I took this in my purse, like to take it with me and reapply throughout the day, and I couldn't do it. Like it, it was giving me a headache halfway through the day. So I just kept it in my bathroom cabinet, you know, when I went to bed and first thing in the morning. And it actually did get used up pretty quick, but I couldn't do it all day, just constantly having that rose scent on my mouth, right by my nose, I couldn't handle it. So I'm glad it's gone. I did also use up the Pure Make It Matte Stick, and I don't recall if I mentioned this in my intro video, but I have been consistently using it every single day as my primer to get it gone. So it's kind of similar, I think Estee Edit had the Pore Vanishing Stick or something like that. It's just a white silicone feeling balm that mattifies your skin. They say you can use it on top of makeup I don't I used it as a primer and I will tell you I actually very much grew to like it I did it was a quick primer just like sweep it on and tap it out and it definitely I don't know that it really kept me matte it mattifies instantly but it's not like a long-term thing it definitely blurred and filled my pores and gave a nice canvas for makeup and it was quick this was sent PR but I still don't think I would purchase it it goes so quickly like you can use it once and visibly see it go down and uh, for the price it, it just went too quick and I don't think it's a necessity now this next one is kind of a big one and that's my Franken palette and you may notice I don't have it here to show you and that's because I've decluttered it now I do still have like the Z palette it's just sitting empty in my back stock but at the beginning of the year I had I think it was 20 shades in there of depotted shadows and 
don't get me started on depotting. Basically, I feel like it's been a security blanket for me to just like, oh, I'll take this shade and pass on the rest when I really needed to come to terms with the fact like I don't really care about this palette and once I keep that shade, I don't really use it. It's just like a, a safety blanket. Anyways, so since the beginning of the year, I have used up a lot of shades in there and I've decluttered a lot as I've been able to let them go. And I finally just got sick of looking at this like raggedy ass palette. I do like I'm so much happier looking at my palette collection now without like this mismatch of shades in it. Even though I did like a lot of the shades, I didn't really reach for them. I didn't use them because it wasn't a cohesive palette. I couldn't get a full look out of it. So basically one day I decided to get rid of three shades. I got rid of my last two Urban Decay depotted shades from my original Naked palette. One is Age. These shadows are old as shit. Like seriously old. Why am I hanging on to them? Yes, I like them back in the day. It doesn't mean I like them now. Sidecar used to be one of my favorite shades. I cannot use it now without getting glitter fallout all over the place. And I don't know how I used to deal with it. I felt like I used to be able to just tap my brush off and it would be fine, but every single time I use it now, no matter how much I tap my brush off, I get glitter all over my face. And I just, I, I'm not about that life. So I did hit pan in it, but I'm getting rid of it. And I'm getting rid of Half Baked too. I have dupes, I have other golds. The shadow, like I said, is old as shit. And I just haven't really enjoyed it when I've worn it. I would much rather wear like Primavera from my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And then another shadow that I've hit pan on, this is from the Chocolate Bonbons palette. It is Almond Truffle. Beautiful, like neutral pink transition color. I have dupes of this and I need to accept that. Yeah, they're like, okay, this is not perfect. It's a little bit, but I need to get over it and just get rid of it. So that only left me with four depotted shadows. And initially I stuck them in my Z palettes, like my matte Z palette, this Lorac shade is right here. It's like a bubblegum pink, it's really pretty. And then my three last two face shades are right here. These two from the Chocolate Bonbons and that one from the Boudoir Eyes. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those two. I do. I don't know, it just occurred to me one day, like why am I forcing myself to try to use up these shades when I have other things that I enjoy in palettes and just has like a real cohesive color story and I'm trying to like randomly fit these depotted shades into my life and the reality is I wish I hadn't have ever depotted them. Now I wish I would have given away those palettes whole. That is my probably one regret about decluttering something is that all the palettes where I depotted a shade or two or three or however many and gave them to someone I so wish that I would have just given them to them whole. All right now I guess this last product the Becca Afterglow palette is the last thing I'm going to consider done. I have made crazy progress in this thing over the last month. If you can see there there is only a teeny tiny bit can you see a little bit left in the ring around Moonstone. As soon as that's gone and I am betting like I will bet you a hundred bucks right now. By the time I get this video edited and uploaded, this will be gone. I know it will. It'll probably be gone tomorrow. And so I, part of me wanted to wait to film this update until it was gone, but I know it's going to be gone. Like I said, tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the next day. So I finished up Rose Gold first and then Topaz. You could tell from my last month I didn't have a lot left in Rose Gold at all. I had huge pan in Topaz. And Rose Gold I repressed and then it was just like gone after that. Really enjoyed that highlighter this summer. I did. Topaz, yes I made good progress in it. Yes there was a lot of pan but I was using that on my body and that's what made it go so quickly. But I liked it on my body especially when I had a tan. And then once I used up these two, I moved over to Moonstone. I made huge progress in it, and then I repressed it, and that's where we are now with just a tiny, sorry, it's so reflective, um, with just a tiny bit left in there. So you may be wondering what's going on down here. So Wild Honey, I'm going to declutter. As soon as I'm done with Moonstone, this is going in my empties. I used a lot of Wild Honey. I, I did, and I have a good dip going in it, but it is going to take forever to even just hit pan on it. And... I used it a lot because it was in this palette and this palette is so travel friendly. I always traveled with it and I would use it when I was on vacation, whatever, and it was fine. It was fine. But do I really enjoy it? Do I really want to keep it? No, not really. 
It is a very, very warm toned blush, very peachy and has a lot of yellow in it. And I actually think it's a very good quality blush. If this is a color that interests you, I'd say go for it. But I have very cool toned skin and this is really not what's most flattering on me and it's not what I'm attracted to. However, I did depot Flower Child, which is very close to like NARS orgasm. It's an orgasm dupe and I really like it in the summer, but it's not something I reach for every day. It's way too shimmery. Um, so I depotted it and put it in my Z palette. It is so rare that after I work my ass off and finish a product that I'm still like, oh, I wish I had that again. That is very rare, especially when it comes to like blushes, bronzers, highlighters, eyeshadows, things like that. Yeah, foundations and concealers. Yeah, of course. I'm like, oh yeah, I want that again. But stuff like this, it is very rare that that happens, that I don't just want to immediately move on and try something new. But I'm telling you, this was a really good palette for me. It went all over the world with me. I was very happy with it. Um, but it was limited edition. I think you can still get it though, but I'm not going to repurchase it. All right, y'all, I'm jumping all over the place. All these products are very unorganized in front of me. I'm just grabbing at random. So the perfume. After I used up that Victoria's Secret Body Mist, I decided to use up my only other one that I still have in my collection, and it's Love Pink. And as you can see, I'm nearly done with it. This will absolutely be gone by the next update. So that is where I put it in when I finished up my first bottle of perfume. And between there to the second mark, that was about two weeks. Um, the time period was a month, but I was out of town for a lot of that, so I didn't get to use it. But here to here is what I could actually do in a month. So that's what I finished up. And as you can see, there's just a tiny bit left in the bottom, which should be gone in probably about two weeks. And when I used up the 100% Pure Face Mist, I decided to start on my Glossier Soothing Face Mist. This is rose scented. It's a rose water spray. And I am, like I said, kind of sick of the rose scent, but I'm, I'm fine. It's all right. This one doesn't really linger. And I was pretty full when I started. Right now, I'm about halfway done. So I haven't been marking this. I decided kind of late in the game to work on this one specifically. Um, I don't know. This actually may be gone by next month. I do use those up really quickly. Now this is another product I am excited about, my Lancome Taunt Eidol. It is not finished, but I'm still very motivated and excited with the progress that I've made. I think I will actually be able to use this up by the end of the year, and I didn't initially think I could. Um, this is the shade 350 Bisque C. It is my summer color, but I have it on today and it looks, it looks like it's matching me okay. I know I was right about halfway done with it when I started on this project and now I am down here at the little words where it says like wear and comfort, I am right down there. Will it be gone by next month? I don't know. So these are two jars of the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have Light 2 Vanilla and Light 2.5 Creme Brulee. I have not touched vanilla. It's my winter shade. I'm getting light enough to start using it, but I had been really dedicated to 2.5 Creme Brulee to use it up while I was dark enough for it. So as you can see, I cleared out kind of one side of it over there. It's kind of working around the edge of the pan. So like I said, I think you can tell from the pictures that I have made good progress on it. I have, but I am so sick of this. I, I am not sick of anything the way I am sick of this concealer. I am so tired of using it. I use something different today. I, I'm just tired of it. The color is getting a little bit dark for me. It's not very brightening. And the thing is, I could easily just use it up as a foundation. I love using a concealer, you know, on a busy day when I need to get to the office, just like swipe, swipe, blend it out, set it with some powder and go. That would be fine and I would be able to use this up really quick, but I can't use it on my face because it breaks me out. And what's so unfortunate is that even if I get it just a little bit outside my under eye area, it'll break me out too. Like I have a spot right here and I guarantee I'm to you it's from using this concealer. And so I'm just like sick of using it. If it's going to break me out at all, I probably shouldn't use it. Now this is another concealer like product. This is my LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector in Peach. I'm getting a little bit sick of this too, I might add, but I can at least see really good progress and I can see that I'm in the home stretch and so that's pushing me through it. If you can see, that's like intro, first update, second update right there. So I've made a lot of progress on it. All right, y'all, I think that's it. I think we've gotten through them all. This video is gonna be so freaking long. Um, now I do wanna add in two new products. Since I finished up all my lip products, I want to add in my Bite Beauty Matte Lip Pencil in Pastille. It's what I have on my lips right now. Right now and 
I love it. I do. I wore this like all winter and spring earlier this year. I did try to pan it, um, but they're super high pigment and it was like brand new at the time. And so I only got about halfway done with it. This is how much I have left now. So it's right about halfway done. Um, but if you've ever tried to pan one of these, you know, they take a very, very long time. It's not like other lipsticks that I can pan in like three months easy. I think this is gonna take me a little bit longer. And finally, I have my Wander Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. I have it in my brows today. I love it, I do, um, but I do still prefer my Tarte Pencil, and so I wanna go ahead and use this one up. And that's about how much I have left, maybe like a third, And uh, but brow pencils, they go really quickly. Anyway, like I said, I'm still undecided if I'm going to run this till the end of the year or if I may do a different kind of like Christmas theme project pan. So let me know what your panning plans are for the end of the year. I'd be interested in knowing. I may want to hop in one too, maybe a smaller one in addition to this. Anyway, I'll see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all. Bye.